All right, we're back at the 2018 NAMM show for Musicians on the Record. I'm David Ward. We just got out of the sessions panel. It's all about how to get your music business house in order, and we are with one of the greats of the bass, Mr. Steve Bailey. Steve, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Tell us a little bit about business-wise for an up-and-coming musician. You, you told us some great stuff in the panel. What's the top one or two, maybe three things that they need to know? Well don't be in a big hurry to make decisions that's one thing so many impulsive decisions what seems good we agree to and we and then we're bound to it especially if we do it in writing I just encourage people to seek other opinions have a couple people in your life that you trust that 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 you can bounce things off of and get there even if they're not an expert in it sometimes they have some intuition and then when it comes down to real business decisions um, it's best to get someone who really knows what, like uh, Paul, who we had with us on the panel, somebody who knows the law and, and in the end, uh, those tiny little details in a contract can, can turn into thousands and thousands of dollars. And, and I, we learned it way back in the 90s when, when uh, Victor Wooten and I did our, our uh, uh, Basic Streams video, our first uh, video and they wanted to pay 50 percent royalties on internet sales and they told us that internet sales were only one percent of business so it's no big deal wow. and my reply to that whenever you hear somebody say well it's got to be this way but it's no big deal the reply is well if it's no big deal then give it to me right. and and that that now that video the internet sales are about 90 percent of business so that 50% of royalties made a huge difference over the last 20 years. No, no question, no question. I also loved what you said inside about social media is great, but it's more the power of those relationships and that networking. Can you tell us more about that? Well, I mean, I, I just look at whatever I think. Everything's changed in the music business and nothing has changed. I mean, not in, in general, the whether it's through in, for endorsements or for business reasons or my publishing, my books, it's all built on relationships. And I think today we, we have even more power with social media to use that to build relationships in a positive way. Now the downside of it is, is people confuse building relationships and being right. And a lot of people just want to be right all the time. Rather, I always ask people, would you rather be right or be happy? because other people can be right at the same time and you can be diametrically opposed. I think people will disagree with that, but I think there are often uh, many paths to the same destination. I think that's a great philosophy. I also really related to your influences, uh, especially Zeppelin, of getting getting into music. Can you talk a little bit, just briefly, about some of those early influences for you? Oh, I mean, my, my first... Uh, um, rock album I got I think when I was 12 or 13 was Black Sabbath Paranoid and I can still I mean I, I'm not a lyric guy but those early albums I know every word on that album every song uh, whenever I hear Iron Man I flash back to that and those are my early influences ZZ Top Zeppelin Houses of the Holy and and uh, uh, and even I mean it, it it's funny when I played with Dizzy Gillespie I would I would in this blues, I would quote Purple Haze, and people in the audience would clap. They would recognize it, and, and Diz is like, "Man, why are they clapping? What, what's that song?" You know, every time I play it. Next thing, I, I knew I, I I had done a good thing when I heard him quote Purple Haze on trumpet one night. He wasn't even sure what he did, but it just doesn't sound right on trumpet. That's pretty cool, though. Dizzy Gillespie playing Purple Haze. you got to love it. Yeah. Only at the NAMM Show 2018, Musicians on the Record. Steve Bailey, thank hey, you so thank much you for so your time. Much. I really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Absolutely. Take care, y'all. Stay tuned for more.